Franklin Electric's submersible motors can be powered by portable generators. To size the generator for the application, we will cover what to consider in the selection of the generator and how to install it. During construction, water is needed for cement, mortar, cleanup. Electricity is needed for power tools. This may take weeks for power drop to be made. Emergency power due to power outages are the more common reasons for generator uses. A generator can be used to determine if three-phase current unbalance due to installation or power supply issues can be used. When installing a generator, follow all local, state, and national electrical code requirements. A transfer switch is required by the National Electrical Code. Transfer switch is a safety device to isolate the utility electrical supply from the generator to prevent the generator from backfeeding into utility lines, which can cause serious injury. A transfer switch should have a delay built into it so the generator has stabilized before a load is applied. Transfer switch allows the motor to be turned off and on independently of the generator. Code also requires that the generator be properly grounded per manufacturer's instructions. The frequency of the delivered voltage will be a function of the generator engine's RPM. If the motor is running slower, output frequency could be a few hertz below 60. The frequency should be no more than plus or minus 2 hertz of 60 hertz. Confirm power frequency with a meter and consult the manufacturer's instructions for adjustment. The thrust bearing in a submersible motor requires a minimum speed of 30 hertz and it's important to start the generator and allow it to stabilize prior to starting the pump motor and to stop the pump motor prior to shutting down the generator. Generator sizing can be confusing. Three basic steps will help us get started. During the start cycle, the generator must maintain 65% of nominal voltage during the start cycle, which lasts between a third to a half of a second. The starting amps, or sometimes referred to as locked rotor amps, only last for about 10 to 20 milliseconds, but can be significant. Generator sizing is provided by Franklin Electric Submersible Motors on page 5 of our AIM manual. If you're using a Franklin Electric two-wire motor, the minimum generator sizing will be 50% higher than the numbers listed in the table due to higher starting torque of two-wire motors. The sizing chart only applies to a single motor. Additional loads will need to be accounted in the sizing. Note externally versus internally regulated generator sizing. Most generators have an external voltage regulator. To be sure of the type of generator you're considering for your application, consult your generator manufacturer before purchasing.